Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. As for me, in justice I shall behold your face. I shall be filled with the vision of your glory. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. I welcome you to this live stream Mass for the 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year A, 2020. We're taking our very first tentative steps back into the Church for the celebration of Masses, sacraments and other liturgies. Uh, that doesn't mean that the little chapel set up in the presbytery is decommissioned. Uh, we'll still need to use it from time to time. Uh, but by getting a Wi-Fi dongle, we can now have Mass from the church. Let's hope it's good and stable. We're offering this live stream Mass for the repose of the soul of Claire Keegan. Uh, Father Rajesh is celebrating Mass today for the repose of the soul of Joseph Thomas. And I'll be saying Mass later for the good estate of Marion Razan Zayn. But for those who have died, eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honour. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. O 
a reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, as the rain and the snow come down from the heavens and do not return without watering the earth, making it yield and giving growth to provide seed for the sower and bread for the eating, so the word that goes forth from my mouth does not return to me empty, without carrying out my will and succeeding in what it was sent to do. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Some seed fell into rich soil and produced its crop. Some seed fell into rich soil and produced its crop. You care for the earth, give it water. You fill it with riches. Your river in heaven brims over to provide its grain. Some seed fell into rich soil and produced its crop. And thus you provide for the earth and drench its furrows. You level it, soften it with showers. You bless its growth. Some seed fell into rich soil and produced its crop. You crown the year with your goodness. Abundance flows in your steps. In the pastures of the wilderness it flows. Some seed fell into rich soil and produced its crop. The hills are girded with joy, the meadows covered with flocks. The valleys are decked with wheat, they shout for joy, yes, they sing. Some seed fell into rich soil and produced its crop. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. I think that what we suffer in this life can never be compared to the glory, as yet unrevealed, which is waiting for us. The whole creation is eagerly waiting for God to reveal his sons. It was not for any fault on the part of creation that it was made unable to attain its purpose. It was made so by God. But creation still retains the hope of being freed, like us, from its slavery to decadence to enjoy the same freedom and glory as the children of God. From the beginning till now, the entire creation, as we know, has been groaning in one great act of giving birth. And not only creation, but all of us who possess the first fruits of the Spirit, we too groan inwardly as we wait for our bodies to be set free. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. And the seed is the word of God, Christ the sower. Whoever finds this seed will remain forever. left the house and sat by the lakeside, but such crowds gathered round him that he got into a boat and sat there. The people all stood on the beach and he told them many things in parables. He said, imagine a sower going out to sow. As he sowed, some seeds fell on the edge of the path and the birds came and ate them up. Others fell on patches of rock where they found little soil and sprang up straight away, because there was no depth of earth. But as soon as the sun came up, they were scorched, and not having any roots, they withered away. Others fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Others fell on rich soil, and produced their crop, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Listen, anyone who has ears. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. 
most certainly this period of lockdown has been a desert experience. And even in our fast from the Mass and sacraments, we have all found at times an oasis of fresh water that is God's grace refreshing us. We are now emerging from the desert and we are moving towards greener pastures. But we are not yet in the lush grass of the savannah, but on the edge where the aridness of the landscape is still a reality. Indeed, many people are not yet ready to return to Mass over last week, this weekend, next week, and maybe not for some time to come. Uh, so we'll be aware of you, we'll try and live stream for you, we don't want to leave anyone behind. And so the reality of a camera at Mass, I think is going to be with us for some time to come. And we can now unite all our prayers, either in the church as the week goes on, either on the live stream. We all offer them at the same Eucharist at the foot of the cross. It was appropriate that we ended our fast yesterday with an opportunity for people to receive the sacrament of reconciliation, to go to confession, so that our souls are not overwhelmed in receiving the fullness of the Eucharist again sometime this week, maybe next week or the weeks ahead. The word is fulfilled when it is put into practice. And although time will come when we may resume many of the roles that we used to have, for now the focus is on the ministry of hospitality. And we ask for more parishioners who are under 70 and without health conditions to volunteer as stewards. So that now, as we are cementing uh, the prayer sessions and the masses here at St Mary Magdalene, we can now move on to start to think about the reopening of the Church of St. Martha's in Little Common. Bear with me, it's not going to be a quick process. It's going to, again, be needed to be done step by step, slowly, slowly, gradually, to make sure everything is in place safely and sustainably. So now is the time for a renewed spirit of service of God, his Church, and his holy people. Our mission may be tiny and humble in origin, but if we feed and water our service through our prayer, we will experience steady growth and its influence will reach far and wide, and God willing, it will lead to the salvation of souls, because that is what it is all about. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. <coughs> he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, the word that proceeds from the mouth of God does not return to him empty, and so we pray. For the Church, 
May we proclaim the gospel with humility and passion. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our parish, may we foster a culture of service. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are persecuted or suffering, may they come to know the glory that is yet to be revealed. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For Father Thomas Kent, newly ordained for our diocese, may he provide the church with many years of fruitful service. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For NHS staff, care and key workers, may they show us the compassion of the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the sick, housebound and those self-isolating, may they know that they are in our thoughts, minds and prayers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed and for those with anniversaries at this time, may they now inherit eternal life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We turn to our parish patron, Our Lady of the Rosary, as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Almighty Father, we are making our souls a rich soil for your grace, and so we ask you to hear and answer our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. 
our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to behave your thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering cancelled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to your Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Plenius Uncelia Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy, these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognising the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Mary Magdalene, St. Martha, St. Richard, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, 
with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Richard, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, for whom you bestow on the world all that is good. For him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. On your stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On your stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On your stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The sparrow finds a home, and the swallow a nest for her young. But your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God, blessed are they who dwell in your house, forever singing your praise.
Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, please pray for Hugh Lewis, an adult who I'll be baptising this afternoon in St Mary Magdalene Church. Please also look very closely at the parish website, the newsletter section, where this week's newsletter is there. There's also an extra notification in the newsletter section about the limited re uh, resumption of masses here in St Mary Magdalene. The reality is that most of us will have to continue live streaming for some time to come, but there will be scope for people to come to Mass over the week. The obligation to hear Mass on Sunday remains suspended, so please make, if you are coming to Mass, make uh, use of the Mass throughout the week, but please only come to Mass once a week, as the capacity of the church is only 55 people. That's down from 250. So uh, let's be uh, generous to each other, let's be mindful of each other, uh, but let's also uh, celebrate the return of Mass in this church, even if it's only in a limited capacity. In the next few days, I'll write on the Facebook page and also on the newsletter section of the website how we might go about taking the next step of looking at the Church of St Martha's in Little Common. But for now, I wish you a very happy and holy Sunday of the 15th in ordinary time. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Ave Maria.